Okay, so, that was a pretty good introduction. I guess now we get to wander the town for the first time. The town of Cobblestone. <clears throat> Alright. Whoa! Coming of Age, got a trophy. Award I got Coming of Age awarded for ascending the top of Cobblestone Tour and completing a ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. There you go. Alright. Uh, Jubaka Cheers, is there, is there hentai waifus in the game? Oh my god. Can we all be a little bit more mature? And not immediately start talking about hentai when I'm, I'm playing a JRPG. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Jeez. The ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Don't tell me you've forgotten where you live. Follow the paving stones. You'll find your way back and you must be tired of forgetting that you should head home and put your feet up. Nice work, Mr. Grown-Up. Now, your dear old mum will be waiting for you, I reckon. Hurry home and tell her about your adventures. Jesus, look at this guy. He's roided. He's a roided dude with a crazy, like, luchador mask. What the fuck? <laughs> In the town of Cobblestone, we breed them big. Big strapping men. Notice the parents, the tour isn't safe for children. Please make sure they, do, they know not to play there. Well, if only that dumbass kid knew that. Stables? Yeah, it's the stables. Bump, 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 bump. Any hidden items or anything? Slap the horse's ass! Slap it! Slap the ass! No, I wanted to, I wanted to slap the ass, not pet the horse nicely. Come on. Surprise it when you run into the water. <clears throat> Can you run through this river? Yes. jump over the fence. Is this the church? This is where you save your game, right? Devin Erasmus says, is that a Scottish accent? I don't know what it's supposed to be, honestly. Yeah, so here it is. You save at the church. Greeting, my child. Yeah, save. If you do all the, all the things in the church in Dragon Quest, so it's divination, which links up the experience each party member needs to, to reach the next level. Resurrection, bring fallen party members back to life. Purification, cure any poison party members, and benediction, remove any curses afflicting party members. We're gonna save. There we go. Do, 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 do. We're really Atomic says it's only fitting if I do the entire, uh, entire game in a British accent. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that. That'd be way too. Way too demanding. Nice church music. Okay. Nothing behind the church. What's this? I mean, it isn't Cobblestone's newest grown-ups. Were you looking at the, for the mayor? He's at home at the moment. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but he's worried sick about you, Gemma. It's only natural I suppose to use your granddad after all. A message from the mayor. Ferocious monsters are at large outside the village. If you must go out to the wild, make sure you're prepared. <clears throat> Ancelor says check bookcases. Some have recipes in them. Oh, really? That's the mayor, right? Oh, yeah, look. Dunstan's Corking Compendium. Get a load of this one. The co yeah. Oh, it's just telling jokes. It was just a book of jokes. It was nothing interesting. <laughs> What's up here? Nothing? What's the point of this? There's no point in coming up here. It was just added atmosphere. Who the hell wants atmosphere? Get out of here! Whoa! Okay, broke both his legs. Now 
you climb the tour, I'm pleased to say you and Gemma are fully fledged cobblestonians. Now all you need to do is settle down together and live happily ever after. Granddad, honestly. So what the hell? They're trying to have an arranged marriage between these two? What if it turns out they don't they don't they don't romantically like each other? What if one of them is 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 gay? Would that be that's it? They're excommunicated from the village. They're a very draconian uh, my, oh god, it's from the chest. A very draconian mindset of these townspeople. They don't support all these alternative lifestyles. <laughs> I found a cypress stick. What the fuck is that? A sturdy little stick fashioned from a branch of a cypress tree. Oh no, you do that. Huh. How dare you! Be anything but mainstream, what we say is correct. They're a very conservative town. They don't believe in all these these other things. <laughs> That'd be a whole different kind of game. That would seriously be a whole different kind of game. I didn't go in here. What's in here? How the hell do I get in? Where's the door? There's another, another roided dude. A little bird told me you and your mate Gemma went to the Talbot Tour and back. You ain't a little boy no more. You're a man. Here's some advice from one bloke to another. Whatever you're doing, enjoy it. No one knows how long they got, so make the most of it. Wow. He gives you, like, important life advice. What the hell? Who was expe I wasn't expecting that. I thought he'd say something stupid. You know, no, it's like important, like intelligent life advice. We just went back for coming the tour. I said you got up there together. Is that it? I don't know what this is. I can't do anything here yet. Huh. I don't know what it is, some kind of a shop or something, but I can't do anything at it yet. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Jump the horses. They won't let me go this way. Yeah, they blocked it. Is it invisible? Oh no, I got past them. I see it's an invisible wall, but then I got past them anyway. What's this down here? Some kind of a locked gate. Yep. The door is locked tight. Can't go that way. What? Your boy Jermaine Chitty says, This Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she knows every dive in town? Oh my god. What are you talking about? Woof woof! It's Sandy. Ignore Sandy. We're gonna investigate the town. We haven't finished looting all the houses, stealing everyone's belongings. Look at these weirdos. I don't think there's anything good here. Anything here? Ah, oh, some pots to smash. Smash those pots. Yes! Gold! Smash it! There was nothing in that one, damn it. Battle Duck 9000 just resub for the 14th month in a row and said, Noise! Thank you for the resub. Noise! Uh, this guy, he eats with his hands above his head. What's this? Tour de horse, equestrianism for young and old. I don't want to read this. Supplemental contents. There's the church. I didn't go in this house yet, did I? Well, there's nothing in here, huh? No, some some chick making stir fry. What the hell? She got giant sausages. Oh my god, she's got a whole thing full of giant sausages. <laughs> she's gonna. She's supposed to be on the Atkins diet. She's only cooking meat. That's it. You don't want to be wandering outside the village. Okay, so can't do that yet. <laughs> Alright, that's the mayor's house. 
We gotta find our house. Sandy was trying to show us, but I ran the other way. Let's <clears throat> so up this way. Right there. All right, hold on. Anything over here? You can smash the barrels. Huh. I got another 10 gold by smashing the barrels. Oh, Jesus! You can kick the pumpkins and explode! It scared me! I didn't know you could do that. It genuinely gave me a scare. <laughs> chickens. Pick up the chickens. Now I can't pick up the chickens. Whose house is this? It's some barn. Kick the, kick the pumpkins. Get the fuck out of those pumpkins. Oh my god, he broke everything. What a klutz. He comes in here and just starts smashing everything. Jump on the sausages. I guess you can't go up there. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the, the house here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course. Quite the opposite, huh? in fact. I skipped a dialogue. Being proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. <laughs> oh shit, get out of my house, you're a witch. You're banned from the town. What did you say? <laughs> that funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. <laughs> Here, this belongs to you. Whoa, look at that thing. This thing's crazy looking. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um, well, he said you're... I eat triple rations against the, the, the village's wishes. Everyone wonders where all the food disappears to. It's me! How do you think I, I get this big? <laughs> she confesses. You're the reincarnation of the luminary. The what? What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. Like, get the fuck out of town and go kill slimes he for the rest of the game. That when you came <laughs> of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Enselor says he's the reincarnation of Edric from Dragon Quest 1. So he's basically the reincarnation of the, the original protagonist of Dragon Quest. Crikey. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> Crikey! The reincarnation of the Luminary. DSP tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually... Loading's quick in this game. Alright, time to get the fuck out of my house, you freeloader. You lived here all your life. 
You never did a day's work. Never did any chores. Now get the fuck out of here. Anything up here? Alright, I'm gonna stop climbing these ladders. I don't see... What the hell is that? A lion... A lion's head. Oh, here we go. Smash that fucking pot. Smash that shit. I got ten gold for coming up here. Now jump down. Woo! -hoo! Okay. I guess we're done. <clears throat> we're in trouble sleeping? Well, it's no surprise of the excitement and your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air does me a power of good. Young Guap Fresh, I have no plans to play NBA 2K this year. However, if there is downtime and I, you know, there's something else going on, maybe I will. We'll see. Oh, wow, look at this. There's an item on top of the house. How the hell do I, how do I get on top of the house? There's got to be a way to climb it, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's more. Wow, a lot of these houses have items on the top. I gotta find ways to climb them all. I see an item over there, too. Yeah, you, you couldn't see these during the day. Now you can see them all at night. Okay. Platforming. There's a chest up here. Who would put a chest on top of their house? What the hell? I got 50 gold for that one. Who, seriously, who'd put a chest on top of the house? That's pretty weird. Alright, there's another one on the other side of town, I see. Over there. I figure out how to climb that one. Oh my god, what a leap. Ah, when you run, you like... You can't really control the direction that well. Another medicinal herb. Okay. You take a look at your map. Aha! Uh -huh. <clears throat> I need to talk to someone in the middle of town. See that? Okay. It's Gemma. What does she have to say? Oh. Can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? Uh. <laughs> I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. Oh, see? They were destined to be together. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, Long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. So it's basically the plot of every Dragon Quest ever. <laughs> when it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. No, that's actually a... A, uh... A sun going supernova, it's going to destroy our galaxy in about a year, so, you know, we're pretty fucked. How can you be the Luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, <clears throat> we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Yeah, because he's going to be leaving, but she's going to stay, right? 
Yeah, she's crying that he's gonna leave. Cause she's in love with him. Oh. He's like, damn, I actually never liked her at all. I'm glad this is, I get that excuse to leave. She can finally stop bothering me. I wanted I wanted to go up the tour myself, but she insisted on going with me. I mean, this girl, she's like, uh, you know, she's like the hemorrhoid that won't come off your ass. <laughs> all right, so exhausted after his long day, DSP finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. <clears throat> <laughs> Your first armor set? Yeah, look. Look at that. The traveler's garb. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. Oh, I guess the, the grandfather passed away, huh? You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man. The pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Nice! Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. Yeah, some, some fine liquors. <laughs> Liquors and ales, as many as they have. But don't take it. too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. I'll have to see if they have any medicinal weed to partake in before I leave. Yes. It is legalized in Cobblestone Village, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> All right. To the shop. Whatever the hell it is. Actually, it was probably what I went before. And they wouldn't let me buy anything? Now I could probably do it. What's this uh, purple dot? What does that say? Quest. Do you read me? What am I going to do? If it isn't DSP, you came at the right time. I got a favor to ask. I was playing with my lad, and I got this flurry feather that he loves, and fool I am, I managed to let it blow away. Don't I have it? No, uh, yeah, he wants you to give you some flurry feather from the roof of your shed. I think I have it already. Yeah, I already got it. Yeah, there you go. I gave it to him. So I got a sleeping hibiscus. And I got a tip for you I hope you'll find useful. If you ever want to do some, someone a good turn, look for a purple speech bubble above their head. So those are the side quests or purple speech bubbles. Okay. Yep, sleeping hibiscus. I don't know what it is, though. What does the hibiscus do? Oh, Jesus. Stamp that shit. Ah, it's an extra skill point to anyone who eats it. I'm not going to use it yet. I don't know. I don't see the sleeping hibiscus he gave me. All right, so that's done. The only thing left to do is the pink or go to the to go to the shop. The shop's over here. There we go. All right, make sure you get the essentials before you set off. Here we go. The generic bandana, not the overpowered one. Wayfarer's clothes. I think I'm gonna buy these. Alright. There we go. So I, I equipped the proper items you're supposed to have at this point, instead of cheating. I can sell my old plain clothes. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can see all these are the cannot be sold items. Your starter weapon, and then all the DLC items can't be sold. Yeah. Okay. All right, now I gotta go talk to this old woman. See what she wants. 
Ah, and Solar says later on in the game you can craft armor, so be sure to always look around for resources. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I heard all about you from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make, and you're a youngster. Before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. I already did that. All right, so let's go to the entr village entrance to the north. Way up here. Why are these horses always blocking the way? Look, they blocked the, the road. <laughs> How annoying. I gotta go around. Oh, here's some pots to smash. Smash that shit. I got an antidotal herb. Oh, there's the mom. <clears throat> this is it. My little soldier is really leaving. I may not be back for a while. Hope you said all your goodbyes. Yes. Ripley Atomics, cheers. And what's the game like on Pro so far? I mean, it only runs at 30 frames per second anyway. But, I mean, the graphics have been great. <clears throat> Off you go, then. <clears throat> One day, you're just a little boy. The next, you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in a... <laughs> I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. Duh, they're not, they're, they never told him the true story of how he was found on the river, huh? We never <laughs> thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries, of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course. But it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. What the hell happened to the whites of this guy's eyes? <laughs> He's got little buttons for eyeballs, little little uh, M and M's. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you? Eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Wow. <clears throat> oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. The map of Erdria. Got the map. <clears throat> Oh, we got a and horse, too. May this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. That's cool. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. And so he never came back. Goodbye. 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 Get the fuck out. Wait. Uh oh. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. My God, this girl will never leave me alone. This crazy stalker, Gemma, Gemma's charm. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? 
It's full of all trinkets of me. My, my baby teeth, locks of my hair, dead skin. I hope that you'll hold it close to your heart. Uh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, out to the to the open world for the first time. Let's see how this works. The world map. All right, need a horse? Nay, brother. Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair. A ring of one of the many summoning bells dotted around Erdrea will bring your faithful friend Galbing back to your side. And... What on earth? A what? A... Uh, a... Uh, I can't even say this guy's name. I seriously don't know how to pronounce, how to say this guy's name. Just did a 500-bit cheer. Said Dragon Quest is silly. I thank you for the cheer, but I have absolutely no idea how to say your name. Uh, uh, Kesukarigid. I I don't know how to say that. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the top cheer. I'll get you up on the leaderboard here. Uh, let's see. I got... It's even hard to spell. It's one of the most complicated names I've ever I've ever seen on stream. <laughs> well, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. All right. Let's explore. The mayor asked me to teach you a thing or two about horses and maps. The bell will summon the steed. What if you're lost as well as tired? Press square to take a look at your map. Pressing X once you're on your map, open up your lavish ask for some useful information. Alright. Gallop is R2. Slimes! There's slimes everywhere! different ways to go. Yeah, there's three different ways I can check out here. Oh, there's an enemy. There's a bridge I can cross. Is that crow an enemy? It is! A crow. It's the kill! Instant kill! The raven. Penciler says sometimes you can go to areas with way too high level enemies, just a warning. Okay, fair enough. Pretty easy. Kill the enemies and explore. I don't know if there's any items here. A group of slippery slimes appears! Bonk. Easy enough. Ooh, drop the treasure chest, a medicinal herb. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. The combat music is pretty good. Slime ASMR? Guys like the slimes. They like the slime sound effects. Aha, level up! Very nice. My strength went up. 
Every, pretty much everything went up but resilience. I don't know what resilience is. Everything went up, though. The genocide of slimes, yes. Slaughter, the slaughter of all slimes. Bloop, 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 bloop. You must fight the slimes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, what if we ran away? A slime ran away. So it's pretty cool when you're in this open field, you actually fight the fight in the open field. It doesn't go to a different screen, you're actually fighting it in the in the field area. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not seeing any items, I don't know which way to go either. We got a cave and we got two other ways. I wonder what's in the cave. Let's look. Oh, that's the field. Never mind. To the Emerald Coast or Mangle Grove. There's Heliodor. I'll check out some other areas. Attack the crow right in his ass. The Stark Raven. Dead. Instant kill. Why do why do all these random enemies have gold? A crow with a, a fucking human skull has a, has gold on it. Damn, backflip. These dealers like to heal themselves when they don't need it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, your boy, Jermaine. I like that you're fighting in the environment you're actually in. It's not switching to, like, a different screen. It's the same exact environment. That's kind of cool. Most RPGs don't do that. All right, let's check out some areas. Let's go this way. Oh, wait. Will this guy not let me go? Maybe he will. Wait, you don't want to be going anywhere near the Mangle Grove. The monsters in there will have your guts for garters. If you're headed for Heliodor, you go straight there. They won't let me go there? Oh, come on. What about this way? Nope, they won't let me go to the other areas. That sucks. Yeah, see? They're forcing me to go to Heliodor. Alright, well, I guess we're going to Heliodor. <clears throat> Boo. A kite Suki Red just did a thousand bit cheer and asked, Will I ever go back to Dissidia NT? They mostly fixed the lag. The main issue of being peer to peer still exists. Other than that, still fun. I knew experience was not the best. Now, if you remember, I played the beta and it was laggy. And I was like, Yeah, I hope that the final game is better. But then what happened was uh, other stuff took priority. Like there were other games that came out around that time. And I ended up never playing it. Like I bought the game. And never actually played it when it released. So I own it and have never downloaded it. But no, I certainly don't think, uh... I certainly don't think I'm going to be coming back coming back to it at this point. What are you going to do? Oh, is that an enemy? Oh, it's one of the bats! It went away! It ran away. I wanted to fight it. i never seen the bat enemy before. Oh, well. <clears throat> I'm sure there'll be 40,000 more of them. Look at that view. Wow, that's awesome. There is, like, Dark Souls. You can see stuff off in the distance that you're actually going to. What the fuck is that? It's a fucking living pickle. Dude, what the fuck is that? That is disturbing as hell. It's a fucking living pickle. It's a cruel cumber. A cruel cumber, dude. <laughs> Ow. Take this, cruel cumber! <laughs> oh god, he killed himself! His own spear killed him! His own spear killed his ass! Holy shit. Alright, the Spoon Handle just resub for the fourth month in a row and says, really enjoying the stream so far. Thank you, Spoon Handle, for the resub. Also, again, thank you to Akite Suki, or Akite, Akite Suki, Suki Red for that thousand bit cheer earlier. Dude, what the hell are these things? A cruel cumber. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 
Booga, booga, booga. And then he kills himself. Doink. He kills himself with his own spear. What the fuck? A moonwort bulb. A group of four of these guys, are they, are they blocking or defending anything up here? I don't know. Whoa, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys heal themselves a lot. Oh, the slime flea. I say fleed, it fled. The slime fled, it didn't fleed, it fled. I gotta learn English. Damn, there's a lot of them. I don't know if there's any point to killing the ball, though. Any items or anything out here? Aha! I found a seed of life. I bet that's a revival item. Hey, baby, want to come get a taste of my cruel cumber? <laughs> oh, shit, what happened? I walked into a bunnicorn. Yeah! Owned! Oh. Burned alive. A bunicorn. I didn't even see it in the grass. It's hiding in the grass. Oh, your boys are being treated. It was a neuterin. It was a neuterin, yes. Cruel Cumber, take this! Ow. I have to heal soon. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal soon. I don't know what this fire is. Does it mean it's like a, a campfire or something? Can you heal here? Oh, it's a save point. Hold on a second. Who's this? Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. Thank you to Infinite who just took me five dollars. I appreciate that, Infinite. Let me get you up on the leaderboard here. very much. Thanks everyone for your uh, support today. For some reason the end did not work when I typed infinite. There we go. Alright, let's see what he has to say. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. Okay. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. Okay. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. A free HP and MP recovery, it sounds like. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Yeah, Freddy Ballsy says they ripped off Dark Souls with the bonfires. Yes. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, be that's prepared. all for me. If you have any camping related... Alright, shut up. <laughs> Enough. Enough of your gabbing. I like to hear yourself talk, that's obvious. Okay, uh, what's in the house? So 
some pots to fucking smash. Smash that shit. Nice. I found money and scale. I stole from him. The guy just helped me out. He's like, oh, here's a campfire where you can rest. Here's a place where you can save your game. Like, thanks. I'm gonna steal all your shit now. Rob your house. All right, here we go. You can rest. Ask the statue for help. Yeah, by saving. Very nice. What the hell's this? A roving emporium. It's a shop. Oh, look at that! You can actually rest till different times until dawn, noon, dusk, or night. Let's do Dusk. I wonder if at different times of day there's different uh, uh, different enemies. That could be cool. Here's Dusk. And I also wonder if there's time change as you wander around. There's a lot of enemies out here. Cruel cumbers dancing about. So let's see. If I go this way, it'll lead me to the Emerald Coast. Yeah, or I can just keep going north. I wonder if I want if I can go to the Emerald Coast. Huh. What was that? They're invisible enemies. Look. What the fuck? You saw that, right? Look. What the hell are those? You can't interact with them right now, but apparently they exist. They're invisible dudes. What the heck? That's weird. Dude, that's weird. Huh. Oh shit, cool cumbers. What's that? Okay, crafting items. Get the hell out of here, cruel cumber. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what and impaled. Very nice. Whoa, he blocked it. What a dick. Block that. Oh, yeah? You want to go back and forth with me, boy? He blocked the game. Oh, that's it. Now I had enough. Take this shit. Oh, he blocked the game. I can't believe this. Now you can it. It's time to focus my energies. Oh! If a character is attacked a lot or undergoes certain other trials and tribulations, they'll eventually enter an enervated state known as being pepped up. It boosts their martial might for a while. Nothing lasts forever. After several turns have passed, they'll lose their glow and go back to being their normal selves. Any characters who are pepped up when battle ends still will be so when the next one begins. Yeah, take this! Paw! Whoa! He's been pepped up. Nice! He's pepped. He put some pep in his step. Dude, look at this. This is awesome. The graphics are great. Look at that. Wow. That looks exceptionally valid. Cool. Cast Accelerate. Goodbye. Damn it, I wanted to level up. I guess I'm gonna have to use a medicinal herb now. I can't. I guess you're gonna use them in combat? I don't know. I can't seem to use a medicinal herb, right? Items? I know I have them, but I don't see them. Oh, wait a minute. Here they are. There we go. Okay. 
Thank you, Channel Mounter, for a 50-bit cheer. And Ensler also says if the if the icon in battle starts blinking, it means pet mode is going to end. Okay. Is there a camp down here? Dumb. Instant kill. Back there now. A chimera wing. There's a bell to summon your horse, right? Let me guess, he's not gonna let me go. Yeah, I've been telling so no one passes this way. They're too tough at Emerald Co., so I can't go that way. Alright. I honestly, I like walking better than being on the horse. I like the walking exploration better. I think I'm just gonna be on foot for a while. Yeah, this is pretty chill. I agree, guys. It's a nice, chill stream. Yeah, nothing too serious going on, you know? Laid back game. Oh, so I'm blinking. I guess that means my pep. Yeah, my pep ran out. Okay. Yeah, critical hit! Critical hit explosion. The thing backflipped. Spigen, stop that. He's not a female. Stop calling him a female. How dare you say that? <laughs> Just because he has long flowing locks doesn't mean that he's a female, alright? Guys can have that kind of hair too. Damn, this guy carries a lot. Wow, it must have his strength and did two damage. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. New spell earned, earned and three skill points earned that I can use now. Oh, I learned the heal spell. Excellent. Every time a party member levels up, they learn some earned skill points. As the name suggests, these can be used to acquire new spells and abilities. To open them, open up the character builder from the misc menu. Let's take a look. The character builder is where you can use skill points to teach your party members... Uh, new spells and abilities and also improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, the ones surrounding it become available, expanding your options even further. Think carefully about what to unlock when and work your way toward the ultimate abilities. Alright. Well, we'll take a look at this. 